The number eight pick draw was the perfect conclusion to the High Plains Regional Finals here in Loveland, Colorado. Well, the number eight pick draw here at the High Plains Regional Finals finished it up, and I mean it was super exciting. Let's get right at the highlights. The 13th callback is Jerry Downs and Gary Dixon, a team out of Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Evans, Colorado. They came to the short round with a 34 and 86. Jerry Downs gets out on this steer and gets him turned. Gary Dixon moves in. He ropes the steer by a leg. They turn in a time of 16 and 19, but they go to the lead of the open with a 51.05. We'll slide up. The next team is going to be the 10th callback. It's Ross Smith and Jay Yaunt. This team is out of Colorado. They are a 30-64 to qualify here to the short round. Ross Smith, he gets out on this steer. He's got a great saw horse. He gets up on him, ropes him, and moves him out. And then Jay Yaunt on his little bay horse slides in there. They rope a leg. They're going to be a 14-59, and 59, bringing their total to 45-13. and 13, And ultimately, they are now in the lead. From there, we're going to slide up to the seventh callback. It's Wes Kennedy and Lane Kennedy, a team out of Nebraska. Now, they're 29-10 to get here to the short round. So as they rope Wes Kennedy on the head side, he gets him caught, and then little Lane comes in there and ropes this dude by two feet. They are 10-39, and bringing their total to a 39-49, and and that now puts them in the lead. It is the fifth callback. It's Randy England and Benny Masters. They are a team out of Colorado, Kersey and Lafayette. As they get to go right here, they are 26 and 48. Randy England comes out, ropes the steer, and then Benny comes in on the backside and ropes the leg. They're going to be a 13-20, bringing their total to 39 and 68, ultimately placing them second. Then the fourth, third, and second high team back fall short. That brings us to the high team back. And it comes to the high team team back. It is Chad McCoon and Trey Godsman right here. They are 2039. They're going to be a 1909 to win this whole open. All right, here's going to be Chad McCoon and Trey Godsman. They're rolling. They got all day. 1909. They got it on the horns. Now, all you got to do is catch a leg, man. And they are roping it up, baby. They're going to be clean. They're going to be 1093. Hey, you guys are the champs, gentlemen. And they are 31-32, and that's going to give them the win of the roping. They take home $3,092 and brand-new Martin Trophy saddles. One side note on the deal, it was a draw team, and Chad failed to pay for it. Man, what a deal. Well, I had a chance to visit with Chad a little bit after the big win. Chad, this has to be a pretty special win for you. Is that true? This is. This is great to, to win here, and especially win with such a great guy. <clears throat> and... Uh, Everyone here put on such great roping today that uh, made it fun. Well, you bet. I tell you what, you guys, uh, I take it you drew up together. And uh, what about a possibility of teaming up for the U.S. Finals? You know, that that's what I'm really thinking about. I'd like to make the trip down there. Um, but we'll see how the money situation turns out, and hopefully we can make it. Well, walk me through the run. What happened right there? You guys were high team back, and, and you had quite a bit of time to play with. What happened? You know, I just tried to blank everything out not listen to you guys. Um, <laughs> But, no, I just uh, looked at that left horn and the way she came, and he cleaned up the mess that I gave him, so it turned out great. Good deal. Well, I'll tell you what, congratulations. Uh, you roped great, and we're pretty proud of you. Thanks. Well, uh, congratulations right there to Chad, and hopefully the team's going to go to Oklahoma City. I also had an opportunity to visit with Trey. This guy is pumped up, and he's headed to the USTRC National Finals, brought to us by Cinch for sure. Here's our champion healer out of the number eight pick draw, Trey Couchman. Trey, you were pretty excited after that uh, heel catch right there. Yes, I was. This is my second saddle I've won, but the first one in the U.S. Man, congratulations. You roped a great roping all day. Uh, tell me what happened in the short round. You guys high team back, and, and you had a lot of time. What was your plan, and what happened? Just catch him, you know what I mean? The header took a nice handle on him, turned him off, and I just took my first available shot, not second-guessing myself, and we made it work. You bet. And then you were pretty excited, ran over to him. How about that? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I was just glad that I get, got a good draw partner. Yes, sir. So you guys, uh, are you going to plan on going to Oklahoma City to the finals? Yes, I am. I'm planning on going down for the full week. Have you ever been there before? Yes, I have when I was a seventh grader in high school. So quite a bit of time ago, and this time, how old are you now? I'm 20 years old. So it's going to be big time fun in Oklahoma City. Oh, yes, it should be. 
Well, I tell you, congratulations. You roped great. We're proud of you. Got a brand new a brand new Martin Trophy saddle. Good luck down there at Oklahoma City. Oh, man, I'm so excited for that team right there, Chad and Trey. They rope good, and they get a big paycheck, $3,092. And they also get brand new Martin Trophy saddles. And what a deal. So excited for them. Well, with the close of this, second in the roping is going to go to West Kennedy and Lane Kennedy. With a 39.49, they're going to win $2,060. They're also going to get trophy guest buckles. Third place in the roping, well, that's Randy England and his partner, Benny Masters. They qualified or finished the roping with a 39 and 68, gives them $1,634, and they get trophy guest buckles. Then fourth place, well, it's Ross Smith and Jay Yaunt. They are 45 and 13. That's on three steers to win $1,204. Then fifth place goes to Jerry Downs and Gary Dixon. They determine in a time of 51.05 on on three steers to place fifth place. Wow, what a rope in here at the High Plains Regional Finals. Lots of folks in participation here this weekend. Let me recap, who wins the High Point Gold Plus? Well, that's going to be our cowgirl, Jackie Nelson. She takes the top honors. She bests the field. She finishes right in front of Steve Winry, but she gets the High Point Gold Plus for the weekend. She also, like we mentioned before, is the high money cruel girl champion out of this roping. What a great event all weekend long right here at the ranch, the High Plains Regional Finals. We're going to drop the curtain on this edition of the Final Spin. It's been a great weekend here at the High Plains Regional Finals. We hope that you tune in to each and every episode of the Final Spin. Like us on Facebook. Go to USTRC and like the USTRC on Facebook. That way you can keep up with all the Final Spin episodes and all the action that goes on in the team roping world. Folks, I'm Ben Clements for the Final Spin saying good evening and God bless you.